Microsoft Excel is full of all sorts of tools. Some tools are more widely used, more common in practice, and some tools are a little lesser known. We're going to take a look at some of these lesser known, more advanced type tools that we can use within Microsoft Excel. The first one that we're going to take a look at here is called the Goal Seek. This falls into a category of what if analysis. If you take a look at my screen here, I've got the example file open. I'm currently on the worksheet tab called Goal Seek. And if you look up at the data tab, top of the screen, underneath the data tools section, you have what if analysis. And if I give that button a click, you'll find a handful of features. Again, these are some of the lesser known features that are built inside of Excel but very powerful, very robust tools. Like I mentioned, the first one that I want to discuss here is the Goal Seek. So first off, before I jump in there and start to demonstrate it, here's the setup. So on this Goal, Goal Seek worksheet, I've got a simple little table. It's got a mortgage amount, 220,000. It's got an interest rate of 8%, ouch, and a term in months for the next 300 months. What I'd like to know is what my current payment's gonna be using those arguments, those variables. Now, we're gonna figure this out using a function that's built into Excel called the payment function, or PMT. Then, we're gonna turn around and see how we can adjust that current payment to fit more of my budget. But rather than us getting in there and trying to monkey around with these numbers here, well, you know what, I can't afford that. Let's try dropping the 220 to 200,000. Let's lower the interest rate. You know, see if I can get that towards my budget. Rather than us doing that manually, we'll get Excel to do this for us through the Goal Seek tool. Take a look. So first, I'm gonna go over to D3, and I'm gonna create a simple little calculation here that'll find out the current payment using these three arguments here. And this is called the payment function or PMT. So I'm gonna go up to my formulas tab, I'm gonna go into financial, and I'll find PMT. There it is, payment function. Now the PMT function it takes a handful of arguments from us. I'm only gonna use three of them, the three required ones. The first one wants to know the rate, which is the 8%, this uh, cell B3. Now, an interest rate as far as a mortgage or a car payment and so on, it's an APR or an annual percentage rate. So I'm going to divide that by 12. I'll say B3 divided by 12. The NPER is the number of payments. So I'm going to grab the term in months value, which is 300. And the PV is our present value, which is the 220,000. So I'll hit OK there. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And roughly, $1,698, almost $1,700, is what I'm gonna be paying monthly for a $220,000 home at an 8% interest rate for the next 300 months. Yeah, ouch. All right, now it's in red and it's in, in parentheses because it's a negative value. And I can quickly change that, just you don't have to do this, but if I go up to my formula here and just put a minus sign in front of that PMT, hit my enter key, this will convert it into a positive value. So roughly $1,698,698 for the next 300 months. All right, now I think, you know what? That's a great little function. You know, the next time I go buy a house or a car or whatever, I'm gonna take this with me. You know, hey, but Excel says I could pay this. Well, you know what? I, I can't afford that much. That's $1,600 a month. Wow, I wanna get that down to like $1,100. What can I do to get that down to $1,100? Now I could, in the past, what I would do is I would manually adjust these numbers. Say, you know what, I can't afford 220,000, so I have to lower that down to 200,000. Let's see what we get. One, two, three. All right, that's getting closer, but not quite there yet. You know, well, I, I don't wanna go any lower than that, so maybe I can get a better interest rate. You know, if I wait a little bit longer, work on my credit, you know, what, what if I try getting a 4% interest rate? Let's try that. Ooh, look at that, right? But this is me manually going through the motions and adjusting this. I'm gonna undo these actions. Now, again, me manually. I don't wanna do that. I want Excel to figure this out for me. This is called the Goal Seek. So first step, 
I'm going to select cell D3. This is the cell that I want to change. I want to reach the goal of $1,100 a month. Okay? So with that, that cell selected, I'll go up to my uh, data tab, top of the screen. I'm going to go into that data tools section, find what if analysis, and I'm going to grab goal seek. All right, three little things. First thing it wants to know is, okay, well, what cell do you want to set, right? I want to change the cell of D3. I want to set it to something else. Well, I want to set it to 1100. That's what I can afford monthly, right? Now, it's going to allow us to change one of these three values that that formula, the 1698, uses. So let's say I'm going to try changing the B2 cell or the mortgage amount to get me to the $1,100 at an 8% interest rate. I'll hit OK. And Excel is going to calculate. It's iterating through all these values until it hits my goal. And I can see for the next 300 months at an 8% interest rate, I can afford $142,521 worth of house. Right? Changing just a couple little things. I want to set this cell to 1100 by changing this cell here. And Excel does the rest. Now, if I hit OK, it'll keep it. If I hit Cancel, it'll close it out and take me back to the default once again. Let's try this one more time. I'll grab that cell, D3, back up to Data, What If Analysis, and Goal Seek. Now, this time, I'm going to set the cell to 1100, but I'm going to try changing the interest rate. You know what? I want that $220,000 house. I got my eye on this house but I can't afford it, so I need a lower interest rate. I'll hit OK. Oop, look at that. I got to 1100, but knocked off 5%, right? So I gotta work on my credit, right? Or sweet talk the bank or whatever. But I gotta get that, that interest rate down from eight to 3%, all right? Very slick tool. Rather than you manually going through and adjusting these numbers over and over again, trying to hit this goal, get Excel to do it for you. Try this out. Open up the example file, jump to the Goal Seek tab, and change that current payment from that $1,600 or roughly $1,700 down to $1,100 or some other number by modifying one of these values, the mortgage amount or the interest rate. Try it out.